All right, good evening, everyone, and welcome to um, evening prayer. Evening prayer, um, Thursday, the 7th of May. And I'm being more consistent with these now, so um, try to get them as early as I can so that I, um, they are on, on the site they're uploaded, that's the word, uh, so that you can, if you get to see them before you get to bed, hopefully. And if not, you can see them at other times. And then let's, let's begin with our prayer. It's so, the usual prayer of beginning. Um, o oh Lord, Make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your son to life. You brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvelous light, may our lives reflect his glory. And our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let's begin with our confession. The confession I read from the, the old prayer book. 1662, 1662 prayer book. <clears throat> Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And there is no health in us, but thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Amen. All right, our, um, our psalm for this evening, our psalm for this evening is Psalm 85. Psalm 85. Psalm 85. You, Lord, showed favor to your land. You restored the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the iniquity of your people and covered all their sins. You set aside all your wrath and turned from your fierce anger. Restore us again, God, our Savior, and put away your displeasure toward us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will you prolong your anger through all generations? 
Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, Lord, and grant us your salvation. I will listen to what God the Lord says. He promises peace to his people if his faithful servants, but let them not turn to folly. Surely his salvation is near those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Love and faithfulness meet together. Righteousness and peace kiss each other. Faithfulness springs forth from the earth and righteousness looks down from heaven. The Lord will indeed give what is good and our land will yield its harvest. Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Amen. The, the, the psalm, of, again, is divided into two parts, and I will read the first part, the first commentary. This psalm is a blueprint for how to respond when your church community declines. Study past seasons of revival and reformation. Church history is convicting and encouraging showing how far we have fallen, yet also what God can do. Next must come repentance, acknowledgement that our hard hearts and sin have put a barrier between God and us. We must also cry out to God in prayer that he show us his unfailing love. In verse 7, revivals always involve a fresh seen of the gospel of grace, grasping it theologically and knowing it experientially. And finally, we must wait on him, listening faithfully to his word. I do love this. Um, revival comes when we repent, when we call out to God. When we see the gospel in a different light, new light, and when we listen faithfully to his word. Let's, let's pray. Lord, we are spiritually dry. Send us the water of your spirit. We, are, we were created and destined to enjoy you forever. And yet we are not doing that even now. Will you not revive us again, O oh Lord, that your people may rejoice in you again? Amen. Revive us, O oh Lord, that we may rejoice in you. Amen. Um. And so the reading, the New Testament reading, is Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5, and from verse 15 to the end, Ephesians 5, verse 15 to the end. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Do not get drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery. Instead, be filled with the Spirit. Speak to one another with psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. Wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord. 
For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body, of which he is the Savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated his own body, but he feeds and cares for it, just as Christ does the church. For we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church. However, each of you, each one of you, must also love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. All right. Practical guidelines here for husbands and wives, St. Paul is giving us, submit and love. Um, first, he tells us that we are to submit to one another. And he says a wife should submit to husband, just as the church submits to Christ. And husbands, love your wives as Christ loves us and died for us and so there is the there is the um the the the, the what's the word the, the the example christ is our example whether husbands or wives but i want to go back further up a bit because paul says in verse 16 we are to make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil that's something that we need to think about, especially during this isolation and, uh, 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 and lockdown circumstance that we are in. Are we making the most of this opportunity? Are we making the best use of this time that God has given us to be locked away in our homes? What are we doing? Are we using this time wisely? For the Lord, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. The fact is, we won't see today again. How did we use this day? Uh, each day passes and many times we waste the opportunities that are given to us. And so, how are we using this time? Paul tells us, he says, don't get drunk with wine. <laughs> Don't go out drinking. That's not the best use of the opportunity that God has given you. That's not the best use of the time. No, rather be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, singing and making music in your heart to the Lord. And in all things, giving thanks to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There it is. The best use of your time. <laughs> Don't get drunk. Don't be involved in debauchery. But instead, sing. Make music. Speak to yourself. And speak to one another with psalms, hymns, with scripture. Use the scripture to speak to your heart. And speak to each other. And sing. Make music to the Lord. And give thanks to God for everything. It's a difficult time that we are in. But that doesn't mean we stop giving thanks to God. It is this time that we turn back to God and give him thanks for all that he has given to us. So use the opportunity wisely. Use this time of pandemic and lockdown and isolation use it wisely for God to give glory to him 
making the best use of the opportunity because the days are evil. Be careful how you live, not as unwise, but as wise. You see, it's the fool who wastes the opportunity that he has. The wise use the opportunity each day to give glory to God, to sing, to make music, to praise God, to worship him and to give him thanks. It's the wise who does that. It's a fool who gets drunk and, and, and waste the time away. Let us pray. Let's not be the fool, but be wise. <clears throat> so let's pray. Our Father in heaven, we come tonight in this, the end of another day. We come to say goodbye. Goodbye to the day that, that you've given us. We thank you for the, this opportunity today, this Thursday. And Lord, we, we shall never see this day again. And so we thank you for the day. We thank you for whatever it is we went through today. We give you thanks, Lord. And we ask for your help even as we go through to sleep tonight. Comfort our souls. Whatever it is, Lord, we might be going through. Whatever, whatever trouble troubles our hearts. May, may we receive your comfort tonight. May our, not, our hearts not be troubled, but to, but to rest in peace with you. Lord Jesus, you said we are to come to you with all our burdens and you will give us rest. And so Lord, we give us that rest tonight, we pray, even as we come seeking your grace, your peace in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the day that is past. Thank you for all that we got done today. However small it was, you gave us this opportunity and we used it wisely. And so we thank you. And Lord, even if we wasted today, forgive us and help us not to waste tomorrow. Because each day is a gift, a gift. We are not promised a day. Lord, Lord, remind us of this. Oh, so many times we forget this, that we are not promised tomorrow. Tomorrow is a gift. If we should receive tomorrow, it's a grace. It's, 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 it's a gift of your graciousness. And so, Lord, give us grace to use this gift wisely and not to waste it each day. Lord, we pray for those who are sick and we remember those, Lord, who are was suffering in any way tonight. Lord, you, especially those in our own community, those we know, we bring them to you, Lord. You, Lord. you know their names, you know their trouble, you know what they're going through. Lord, we bring them to you tonight. We pray for those who are, who are grieving over loss of a loved one. We again remember them tonight, Lord. Bring them your comfort and your peace. Those in our own church family, and those further afield. We pray, Lord, that you'll be there for them. And Lord Jesus, we pray for our own community. We pray for those who don't know you. For those who live their lives wasting away, not knowing the true life that Jesus brings, especially those in our own community, those in our neighbors, those who are friends, those who are in our family, Lord, we ask for your intervention in their lives. We ask, Lord, that you draw them to you. Take them out of the darkness into your marvelous light. May they come to know you, Lord. We pray for people everywhere. We pray for the Muslims. We pray for those who of other faiths, we pray for those who don't know any faith, who claim that they're atheists. 
We pray for them. We pray for all people that they may come to know Jesus. Lord, we pray for our world. We pray, Lord, that the world, the earth, will be filled with the glory of God as the waters cover the sea. We pray, Lord, for that day. The day to come when the, the lion and the lamb shall lie together and a little child shall lead them. We pray, Lord, for that day. We pray for your kingdom to come. We pray, Lord, for the new heavens and the new earth. We pray for the eradication of evil and wickedness and virus and pestilence and hate from our world. We pray, Lord, for a kingdom of righteousness, love, peace, and joy. We pray. Lord, we long for your kingdom to come. We long, O oh Lord, for our true home. We long, Lord, we are sojourning in this foreign land for far too long. We long, O oh God, for your presence to, to enter this world and eradicate the evil, root out the weeds, Lord, out of this garden that you have planted. Destroy sickness and disease, cancer, virus, and all the evils that the enemy sows in your vineyard. Root them out, Lord, we pray. We long for that day when your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's say some night prayers before we say goodbye tonight. Guide us waking, O God, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness that by night as by day your people may glorify your name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Merciful God, we entrust to your unfailing and tender care this night those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them. Restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Amen. And so let's listen to our theme song as we go to sleep tonight. And may these songs, may this, these words resonate in your soul. And may the Lord give you peaceful sleep, peaceful dreams. Faith.
Good night, folks. Lord willing, I'll see you in the morning.